between episodes of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. <sighs> this is why I hate my job. While Bram was constantly trying to get back, Pikachu leveled up to level 23. H1 went up by 2, attack went up by 2, defense went up by 2, special attack went up by 2, special defense went up by 1. And Catfish was knocked out. On 4 or 5, BJ was knocked out. He then tried over again, and this time he grew to level 24. BJ wanted to learn the move Slam. He forgot the move Tackle and learned Slam. Each went up by 2, attack went up by 1, defense went up by 1, special attack went up by 1, special defense went up by 1. We then ran into a monster house. BJ quickly used a spawn orb and everyone warped away. Meanwhile, Chomper grew to level 27. He wanted to learn Faint Attack. After reviewing the stats, Chomper learned Faint Attack. W what Did I level up? said Chomper. HP went up by 2, attack went up by 1, defense went up by 1, special attack went up by 1, special defense went up by 1. Then Pikachu grew to level 24. I leveled up. I'll do better now. HP went up by 2, attack went up by 1, defense went up by 1. Special attack went up by 2, special defense went up by 1. Then BJ was defeated on floor 5. He then was defeated on floor 1. This, ladies and gentlemen, is why I sometimes despise my job. <sighs> Finally being done with this, I can say we now return you to regular programming. Okay, we're back to floor six. I'm not gonna talk because the recording is making it go so slow. And we're back with more post commentary. I'm Bramnet from BBJ Publishing here. Um, yeah, Deep Throat asked me to post commentate again once he was able to get the timing worked out. Because I only speak at particular moments, it's actually pretty easy for um, my audio to be recalibrated because apparently, according to Deep Throat, I only spoke up whenever uh, a Pokemon was getting a level up, so that's great. You don't have to worry about those too often. However, I have noticed that I'm horribly underleveled. Or at least I was uh, last episode. Um, as Deep Throat probably... Oh! Here's a level up! BJ grew to level 25 His HP went up by 2 Attack by 1 Defense by 1 And the special attack by 1 And defense by 1 Lovely. Alright, so... Let's see... What more happened in life? Let's see, I should probably mention it's my senior year of high school Oh! Also, by the way, by being knocked out so many times Here's my treasure bag. One page. Each time you're knocked out of a dungeon, your items are split in half. The items you lost, lose, are randomly selected. Not to mention, your money is also dropped in half. Just to let you know, again, if you didn't pick up, from conversations that were stated in the first couple of episodes, yeah, if you really didn't pick up by that, uh, on that by this point, I'm thoroughly surprised. Now, thank goodnessly, I have looked up this dungeon, and it looks like there's only like, hmm, I think there's only like 10 or 12 floors, so we'll be out of here momentarily. In the meantime, I'm stuck with you guys. So let's see, what else has happened recently? Um... We got together with Nick Clone to record that next episode of New Super Mario Brothers. We uh, we're up to World Four. Let's see. World One was neutral. World Two was desert. World Three was the water. Yeah, World Four. Uh, the first part of World Four. Uh, unfortunately, um, 
That's not going to go live for, well, if he stays at his current rate, it won't be uploaded until a year later. <laughs> Luckily, he's figured out most of his internet glitches, so hopefully he'll be able to record at a more steady rate. Uh, by the way, if you guys uh, don't know who I'm talking about, um, Guybot1001 from Nick Lone Entertainment, a very good friend of mine, known him since the 6th grade, uh, but <laughs> he's pretty good when it comes to Let's Play. Um, annotation in the corner for his channel. I've actually done some stuff on his channel, and he's done stuff on mine. Underground Lake, finally! Yay, we're finally here, and I can stop post-commentary. I'm sorry, but if you couldn't tell from those photos, it took me forever to get here. And you know, this is the next episode, probably, because I've been recording for an hour and 13 minutes, so I could probably just stop singing right there. Yay. If you like what you saw, like, never mind. <laughs> this, this is fascinating. I mean, fantastic and fascinating. I didn't expect to see this. This huge lake sprawl sprawling underground? Look, something's glowing way over there. That light. I'm sure I've seen it before. That's it! I've got it now! It's the same kind of light that we saw at Fogbound Lake! That means... That light, that, that light could be coming from a time gear. We need to get a closer look at it, BJ. What? It went dark. Wait. What? Who are you? Uh, what? <laughs> Who said that? Why? Why did you come here? Why? Uh, we just came to look for a time gear. Stay away from the time gear. If you won't leave the time gear alone, I'll stop you. What? Who are you? I'm the spirit. Here in the time. I can't do these guys' voices. <laughs> Gonna fake it. Here in the deep underground lake, I protect the time gear. Protect the time gear? Won't allow you to disturb the time gear. Get ready. Uh oh. Miss Spirit, the emotion Pokemon, known as the being of emotion, it taught humans the novelty of sorrow, pain, and joy. Although it slumbers at the bottom of the lake, its spirit is said to leave its body and flitter on the water surface. Also, I may be mispronouncing the name. And let's get going! Uh, I can't do anything here, so wait. Good. Let her come to me. I've learned that is the best tactic in boss battles, for whatever reason. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Spirit is a psychic type, which means... Which means a... Uh, what would work best? Screw it! I'm just gonna use ancient power and spam it. Come on, double speed, double speed! Don't you touch me again! Double speed! No! Good. Double speed, double speed! What? Uh-oh. Uh, items. Chomper! Cover for me. He may go down fly fighting, but... Thank you, Chopper! Thank you so much! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I did not expect Miss Spirit to have that much health left after we knocked it- after we hit so many times. I- I expected it to have like, I don't know, like 200 more or something. Wow! Wow, just thank you! Thank you, Chopper! You saved me a lot of time if I died right there. <sighs> Thank you. Uh, uh, but I can't let you take it. The time gear! Will you please listen? We had the same trouble with your twin. Or whoever she is. In relation to you. We didn't come here to steal your time gear, really! Don't lie to me! Yuxi used his... 
his. So he. Good, good. I thought that was the case. Telepathy to tell me what happened. I know that the time gear from Fogbound Lake was stolen. What? You heard it from Yuxi? That was your doing, wasn't it? No, we didn't. Then who's responsible? That would probably be me. Who are you? <laughs> Grovile! That's Grovile. I must apologize. But I will be taking that time gear. Wah! Stand aside. I won't! I won't let you take the time gear. I have no choice then. Ah! Mere spirit! I be may be mispronouncing it. You lost that fight. You sustained serious damage. So don't push it. You're not getting by us! We won't let you take the time gear! Alright. Sorry for this. Oh, he's so fast! Forgive me. I have no quarrel with any of you. But I'm taking that time gear. Oh, that time gear. That thief is taking it. I'm sorry. Yuxi must have not been talking about you. It was that Pokemon. I'm sorry for doubting you. Oh no, this is bad. We need to get out of here. W why? Because of that! Time paralyzation! It's happening because the thief took the time gear. So this whole area, time will stop around an underground lake. What? If we don't hurry, we'll be trapped in time. Hurry, run with all your might. Even though we're running really slowly. Perfect time to mention that the lift, the clouds have lifted over Cap Quicksand Cave and the Vix, uh, Vix, Vicent is vicinities of arid area of the arid area. What? Would you like to save your adventure? Of course. Chapter 12. The only option. Thank you for helping with our criminal investigation. We we have Miss Spirit under protection. Her safety is assured. I really hope I'm pronouncing that right, but I'm pretty sure it's Miss Spirit. We are dedicating all resources to the pursuit of Grovile. If you come across any information related to this case, please let us know. We must all cooperate to bring this criminal to justice. That is all. Now please excuse us. My, my, I'm quite astonished. So there was a leap, lake deep under the northern desert? And that wasn't all? A time gear was also down there? Uh, yes, but uh, about that time gear, Grovile stole it. We even failed to even slow down Grovile. In the end, there that's the same as doing nothing at all. That's not at all. That's not true, by golly. You all did great work. Hey, 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 I think so, too. Team Meat Plus U Team can be really proud. But it's a shame about this whole thing. There's no clue telling what we should do next, right? I mean, hey, hey, if we only had a tiny hint. I must agree. Where will Grovile strike next? We have no way of knowing. It's too bad that the only opportunity to catch him slipped away. We're back to square one. Maybe not. Not necessarily. Dust nor sir. There are clues. One, time gear was at Fogbound Lake, guarded by Yuxi, correct? Another time gear was at the underground lake, guarded by Miss Spirit. Oh, that reminds me! Miss Spirit told us something interesting. Miss Spirit knew that the time gear from Fogbound Lake was stolen. 
A Yug a Yugsi alerted her by telepathy. Incredible! Now that is really something! I should have known. There is an ancient legend. It is believed that Yuxi is the being of knowledge, and that Mispirit is the being of emotion. But there are three Pokémon in total that represent the spiritual world, and is said to keep balance in the world. Uh, did I just say that? that was, no. the, the three? So Yuxi and Mispirit, there's another one. Yes. The last of the trio is a Zelf. Who, who is the being of willpower. Please stand by while we take a quick commercial break to double check the name of that Pokemon. This official pronunciation of the name of Azelf has been brought to you by the official name pronunciation guide on Smogen.com. As displayed below, these are pronunciations that were taken directly from Pokédex 3D Pro on the 3DS and were translated into the correct pronunciation spelled correctly. Ever wanted to know how to pronounce Bulbasaur? How about Cherum, who is apparently pronounced Cherum? But lastly, don't ask us what Melo Meloetta is pronounced as, we're not entirely sure. The official name pronunciation guide is not guaranteed to work for everyone. Please use as advised in the terms of use instruction found five clicks into the page. And welcome back. I almost have the page fully implemented at the point uh, known as the official name pronunciation guide uh, from uh, smogon.com. Um, now they use their source straight from uh, they they figure out their sources directly from the Pokédex Pro app on the 3DS. I am pretty confident of this working. If I can just get it to find... It does not want it to a cop cooperate with me. Thank you. As Elf. Thank you. We now return you to regular programming. A Zelf, known as the being of willpower. Uxium Spirit both guarded time gears. Therefore, a Zelf might likewise be guarding a time gear. Oh, I see. If we can locate a, Z a Zelf, we may find the time gear with the Pokemon. And we may have a chance at seeing that thief Grovile appear. That is correct. Those three Pokémon, Yuxi, Mispirit, and Azelf, all three are said to dwell at lakes. It is a fact that Yuxi and Mispirit were encountered at lakes. As such, I believe that Azelf will also be found at a lake somewhere. Let's see, keep something in mind. Yuxi's lake was located on a high plateau. Mizuxi's lake was hidden far beneath the desert. In both cases, the lakes were in unusual places. So the lake where a Zelf lives, it would, will be somewhere that is least expected. I get it now! You're saying we shouldn't look where we usually find water, but instead find it where we won't find it, usually. So I, I might, I misread that, I guess. My, my, my! I commend you on your wisdom, Dust North, sir. I would have thought of that myself. Jeez, chat on, I'm surprised you didn't think of it. I feel renewed, dude, admirate admi 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 for you. Uh, thank you. It's nothing, really. No, no, we do revere you. First, it was you, Dasno, sir, who directed us to Northern Desert. It turned out that there was a time near far below the desert. So, Dasno, sir, your insight was entirely correct. Woo! So maybe the other places we searched, the Eastern Forest and Crystal Cave, those places could still be hiding their secrets from us. Ah, hey, I have an idea. Badoof. Yup, yup, you want me? Or what can I do for you? I have a request. Uh, that crystal you picked up previously. Uh, may I borrow it briefly? Uh, my crystal? 
Uh, no, 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 sorry. Uh, th th that's my precious treasure, by golly. Of course. Uh, but rest assured, we won't be taking it away or do anything of the sort. Now, BJ. There is something I would like you to do, BJ. Please touch Bidoof's crystal. I should touch the crystal. If a secret remains hidden in Crystal K, if BJ touches the crystal, it may trigger the dimensional scream. It may trigger a vision. I see. Now that's what this is about. Dimensional scream? Uh, dimensional scream? What's that? It's a special ability that BJ has. Uh, sometimes when BJ touches something, uh, then BJ has a vision of an event that happened in the past or the future that involves it. Oh my gosh, really? Hey, hey now there's, re there's really an ability like that? I desperately wish to borrow the crystal because of BJ's ability. Uh, please, may we? <laughs> Ooh. Uh, okay, I can't refuse a reason like that. This crystal, what will it reveal? Everyone's watching. I don't know if I'll be able to see anything, but I need to concentrate. Well, BJ? Here it comes. Dizziness is starting. <laughs> now, I'll take it. The time gear. No, 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 you can't take it! Never! That was... Grovile was trying to steal time gear. There was also another Pokemon. Was that a Zelf? Anyway, the crystal did trigger a vision. D did you see anything, BJ? What? You saw Grovile knock out another Pokemon, a one that you've never seen before, and then he tried to steal a time gear. Oh my gosh, your ability is thrilling! How'd you get to see all that, by golly? It's mighty hard for me to grasp. Hey, 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 BJ! So that Pokemon you couldn't recognize, do you think it might be his elf? I, I have a question for BJ, too. Did you see the past, BJ? Or was it the future? Uh, come to think of it, uh, visions in the past, visions in the future... It's never clear when my visions take place. So you're not sure if it's in the past or the future? Well then! Since it's impossible to tell if this vision is of the past or the future, then BJ's vision may as well have been a past event. In that case, the time gear may have already been stolen from there. Squawk! You're saying that we might be already too late? It's a possibility! Everyone, please hold on! Yes, it is true that the vision may have been from the past, but it could have also been a vision from the future. If you would all be so kind to remind us what Miss Spirit said, P Pikachu. Who informed Miss Spirit via telepathy that a time gear was stolen? If I recall correctly, you did say it was Yuxi. Hmm. Don't lie to me. Yuxi used his telepathy to let me tell me what happened. I know that if a time gear was from Fogbound Lake was stolen. Yes, there's no mistaking it. But the name Azelf? I've never heard it before. The name Azelf is new to me. I only heard it from today from you, Dustnor, sir. Then there's still a chance. If my spirit claimed that Azelf had alerted her about the stolen time gear, then BJ's dimensional scream should have would have surely been from the past. But that was not the case. My spirit did not mention Azelf. Therefore, it is possible that the event happens in the future. I see. One more point, and this is a sure thing. Upon touching the crystal, BJ experienced the dimensional screen. The vision indicated the presence of a time gear, which means maybe what we see is in Crystal Cave. Perhaps there is still a passageway that leads to a time gear. Yeah, maybe there is! 
Of course, we may already be too late. Or we may still have time. As long as the chance remains, we should must never give up. It's our only option. Hey, hey, absolutely. There's no cha other chance. We may have to pin it on our hopes on this. Good thing it does, no, sir. Yup, yup. Oh my gosh, I'm all fired up with excitement. Let's go, everybody. Let's search Crystal Cave. A dozen or sir. Uh, there is only one thing to do, and that's explore Crystal Cave. Let's go. The whole guild will be involved. Onward to Crystal Cave. Guildmaster, please issue the call of duty. A call to duty. Sorry. Guildmaster? Um, Guildmaster? You can't be serious. Are you with us? Huh? Hey, <laughs> you've gotta be kidding! No, it looks like he's first fully asleep with his eyes wide open too. You, the guildmaster is so very charming. <laughs> when do you all suppose he took to snore? You think that maybe he'd been asleep from the get-go? Oh no, this won't do. Everyone must notice that the guildmaster is sleeping. I must rouse him somehow. A guildmaster! Guildmaster! Huh? Guildmaster! Chatot! Yes, guildmaster! Er, I mean, yes, guildmaster? Or, er, uh, to take it to the top, there was... Everyone! We are going to <laughs> And we're back to that again. Yunta! Hooray! <laughs> I swear he's brain damaged! I swear he's brain damaged! Let's go to Crystal Cave! Hey, hey, there has to be a secret there somewhere! Let's go down to business to defeat the Hans. Sorry. And start to start search. I will accompany you to Crystal Cave. Let's do our best, everyone. Hooray! <laughs> He's still frozen. <laughs> Let's get going too, BJ. On to Crystal Cave. 